Welcome back to comicbook.com, everybody. BD here. We're talking The Walking Dead. You know it's my favorite time of year, Comic-Con season, when the cast of TWD likes to stop by. We're doing it virtually again this year. Very excited right now because we have Lauren Cohen and Jeffrey Dean Morgan on the site. What's up, guys? Thanks for hanging. Hey. Thanks for having us. Happy Comic-Con. Happy Comic-Con. I can't wait to get uh, back in person, but this is this is not a bad way to do it. I'm happy we get to do anything. You know what I mean? Next yeah. year. Next year, damn it. Remember we said that last year. Well, so we'll see you next year. Next year, though, we'll see you. Yes, yeah. we will be out there, San Diego, and uh, we'll right. be partying it up, celebrating that we're back. Uh, it's going to be awesome right. to party. Uh, but first, listen, The Walking Dead, it's so bizarre that this show is coming to an end. Like, I don't even think I've wrapped my head around it yet. Uh, and I, I would love to hear from you when you get back to the set this year, earlier this year, and it is like the last time returning to set for a, to shoot a premiere. What's the energy like? Like, what, what did you guys do anything to kick it off? Yeah, oh. well, we did this weird little, uh, not weird, but we did our six episode thing, which was a bit more contained. And then we came back in, um, when did we come back? January, which is, yeah. What did we do? What did we do? I can't remember when we came back. It seems I like we've been either. shooting forever. I think, uh, I feel like we're in denial still. Um, there, there it comes in waves. I know that Lauren and I, and a couple other people did a, a, a some kind of interview. I don't know what it was for. Uh, a couple of months ago, oh, and there was like tears that was, going. That was Comic Con. It was Comic Con. It was this? <laughs> <laughs> we record them a little bit in advance, but maybe we don't need to let you know that. Oh my god! And it, and it, it kind of went off the real rails with tearing. And I remember I like yell. Uh, I think to Lauren. In fact, I'm like, we still got another year to do of Comic Con. Let's. <laughs> It's hard. So it comes. You were like awesome. Way. You were awesome because we had had Christian and I were recording. We That's were together right. at my house next to each other, but you couldn't tell. That's right. But now I'm saying this and it's about to be on our panel. So let's just say we lost it. And Jeff came in at the last minute, like coach and pulled together and said, guys, on, guys. We got a long road. And uh, it was just what we needed. It's going to be too much crying if we start crying now. <laughs> yeah, so it was an emotional start. In other words, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, well, it, it, like I said, I think that it's it, it comes in waves. I think where a lot of us, it, me, uh, are in denial that this, this is, in fact, the last year. Um, and, and we have to remember that it is such a long season, um, you know, extra episodes and you throw in the, the COVID of it all and each episode takes longer. Um, so we're there for 14 months shooting. So we've got a long way to go. Um, we don't finish until March of 22. Um, and we've already, I feel like we've been here for a season already. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm, I'm hoping to come down there and see the Alexandria walls come down when everything wraps up. I feel like that's something I can't miss. That's going to be yeah. such a moment. That's yeah. such no, a when moment. we talk about stuff like that, I think that's going to be very emotional. I think yeah. as we get closer, um, but we've only shot like what, a quarter? Is that right? A quarter wow. or a third? Somewhere. We, shot, uh, we are eight. No, we've we're, what are we at? Nine episodes down. Uh, Twenty at uh, twenty four to go. I mean, twenty four to do. Twenty four to do in total. That 11. was almost halfway. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, halfway. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess we are a little further along than I um, thought. But I think it's going to get more emotional as we get closer. Like yeah. probably after the holidays and stuff when we come back uh, yeah. after our, a little break. I think I think that's really going to set in for people. Yeah, well, listen, I can't wait to see what you guys are cooking up. Lauren, I want to ask you, uh, your, before you took your hiatus from the show, a little break, that your final episode was the same episode as Andy's last episode. And it was kind of like this quiet, like, you know, it wasn't like a, this announced big event that uh, yeah. Maggie was stepping away. And then it was like, we all it kind of the reality set in like, oh, that was also her last episode. Oh. Was that kind of a weird thing to, to know you were going to take this break? But it, it also just was like, I feel like nowadays, everything almost comes out. Like things like that really come out. It's hard to keep those secrets. What was that experience like to, to have to sneak yeah. away for a bit? You mean like the lack of, it was, it was kind of fun in a way because <laughs> the, the leaving of the show is something I, I, it's like, you know, when I go to a party, I don't even want to say goodbye. I just want to sort of just sneak out. And I, I have such a propensity towards, uh, emotion shocker and uh <laughs> so i think it was kind of nice to just just not and it wasn't really leaving you know we it was it was sort of this gray area and um 
But for me and Andy to both kind of, you know, Andy's not gone, gone either. And nor is Denai. And we've got all this like kind of gorgeous mystery around everybody's uh, comings and goings. So I think it was for me, it was a relief to, to, to leave for a minute without a big ceremony because it's, it's, it's a lot to say goodbye. It's kind of like what Jeff's talking about now. It's like, you know, just keep, keep calm and carry on and, go through yeah probably good that we didn't have a big cry you know goodbye with you because you know, i came back, came back a year later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's like when you say goodbye and then you run into the person again and you're yeah, like, yeah yeah i hope i hope amc is bringing you guys therapists here because apparently there's there's a lot of emotion every it comes in waves man yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are each other's therapists i think at this point <laughs> yeah the family is relying held in each other up i love that yeah. nobody uh, understands it like the people who were there I'm sure you guys have talked about this at some point, but I've never had the two of you together for an interview. And I have to address the fact as a comic book movie fan, you guys were married in a movie. It was Thomas <laughs> Wayne, Martha Wayne. And then it switches to the next time I see you guys in, a, in anything together. It's the, one of the most tough scenes to shoot, the tough scenes to watch. Did you guys ever have to address the fact that you flipped that dynamic like that from Batman vs Superman to The Walking Dead? I mean, I think it was it's something that we still can like giggle about and say, well, look where we started as a, you know, as a married couple. Uh, uh, that Love a, and hate are a very strong bedroom. That had a rough ending. You're right, right, right. Um, and so in a way, maybe it's just a continuation of a rocky marriage uh, <laughs> if they hadn't been shot that day. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. it, you know, I think people forget uh, that Lauren and I have known each other for a long time and, and did get a chance to work together before and also kind of uh, just miss crossing paths on Supernatural. And, um, you know, so we've got kind of this history together on screen prior to The Walking Dead. And of course, this is what will be remembered for i think primarily except for guys like you brandon who uh <laughs> who have that deep bench of knowledge <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah well yeah. i know i've asked you a million times if you're going to play thomas wayne ever again and i i still want to see that but i've never asked lauren about the joker would version love, of i uh, would love let it be said and known and documented here we we have discussed it happen. We have to, Lauren and I have talked about that for, you know, for years. Uh, you know, I think her playing, uh, I'd love to see her version okay. of the Joker. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it would, it would be so cool. Listen, multiverse, uh, one of these days, you never know if, if they ever give us a know. chance. You it's know? true. You really never know with, with DC in particular. Um, uh, but, you know, everything is so kind of complicated within the Snyder verse of it all. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately. It, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, Lauren and I have, have made it clear and we're doing it again now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Lauren is looking at us like, look at these geeks. Like, what, what is yeah. that? No, no she's I'm aware. Oh, she's a nice geek. I love yeah. it. Well, that, hey, it's Comic-Con. This is the place to That's do it. it. That's and right. So, okay, so now we're going to go back to Walking Dead because I, I took us off the rails there. But I appreciate you uh, indulging me. Uh, I, Kari and Eleanor just told me that they know how the show ends. They're very excited about it. They shared their reactions. I want to hear yours. Know. You're tricking us. No, I, I'm telling Listen, I have it on video. I'm going to It's Come you on. Can ask Richard to roll the tape. We, the, but they said they're very excited. I want to hear like if they did tell you or, you know, whatever you know about where the story is going. I would love to hear like what your individual reactions were, because this is the final season. It might be the last time we get these stories. How are you feeling about, you know, how Maggie's story is wrapping up, how Negan's story is wrapping up? I will just really yeah. quickly say I have no earthly idea what is going to happen. You're going to have to call I, up I don't know anything. I really don't. Um, I have been owed a phone call from Angela for about four months now, and she hasn't called me. So I don't know. She's Lauren, been calling the wrong person. Someone else day. knows how your story ends. She called the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> but Lauren and I constantly are on set going, do you hear anything? Do you know anything? I mean, yeah, we all are. That, the, the, yeah. <laughs> I, I've had a more detailed conversation with Angela, but I will say, and I'll tell you everything. Um, but I'm <laughs> just kidding. I will say even, even hearing what might be the end just to me sounds like suggestions that could change as the season yeah. goes. And I think that that's the, that's the, that's the cool part about us doing this super long season. And this always happens. Like when you, I'm sure when the righteous see certain things, spark, it can send things in a totally different direction. And um, yeah, there's, I'll tell you the truth. 
we, I have more information than I have had because Angela is pretty forthcoming when you get into a conversation with her, but it was oh. so detailed. I didn't remember everything. So oh. I still <laughs> blessedly only really know in detail kind of the next like five episodes of what happens, which is probably healthy um, to stay present in the story. Do you right know, uh, do you know the ending for uh, you? Well, or, or, or just like the next five. I, I really know, don't know. Yeah, I know some sort of like the broad strokes of where people go and who yeah. they may be in with in certain places. And right. then um, but then, you know, because of the spinoffs, I think that it's all being kind of that's why I think. Right. It could change. That's why I think it could change, because, right. you know. Yeah, I feel I feel yes, like I'm yeah, watching yeah. you guys talk in cast member Morse code where you know what each other is saying. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, so listen, I'm going to wrap this up by asking, you know, about the season starting. You two are playing two characters, that obviously have a lot of differences between you, which is a threat in itself. But Maggie. Uh, Maggie called you Maggie. Wow. <laughs> Lauren, uh, Maggie is bringing, uh, it kind of, she kind of has this, this new group of villains on her tail, the Reapers who we saw yeah. in, the, in the episodes, what kind of threats can we expect in this final season? Yeah. These whole, honestly, the first nine episodes, I have never done more fighting. So I don't want to say any spoilers, but I will just say that, um, there's been more stunts, more kind of difficult good difficult um things for me to do so i maggie's uh, been busy people are just kicking the out of us i it's it's great it's nice nice well i can't wait to see what you got in store and see what you're bringing to the action front listen laura and jeff it's a pleasure to speak with you guys as always good luck uh, at comic-con good luck with the final season getting through production i'm looking forward (laughs) to supporting you guys through this these last episodes and beyond yay brother thank you very much and we'll see you next comic-con (laughs) <laughs> That's right. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right.